Good afternoon, everyone. How are you today? My name is Amy Williams, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am so excited about the card today. We are going to do a light-up card. We're going to make a simple circuit, and um, I I'm just so excited. It is February 10th, 11th, 12th, February 12th. 2023 and we are in the middle of celebration it's kind of in the end it'll end on february 28th so um with cele celebration with stampin up for every 50 or 100 dollars you spend you can um choose some free products and there is a stamp uh, a celebration brochure but they have just recently added a whole bunch more. So please make sure you check that out. You can see it all on my website, which is down below in the description, as well as a place for you to join my newsletter. I would love for you to join that. Um, I don't send things very often, but um, just, just when we're having something exciting in a sale so you don't miss out on anything wonderful that's going on in Stampin' Up. Um, we're gonna flip the camera and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do today. Here we go. Okay. So, let's see, get this all right here. We are going to make this card right here, okay, but you see that little pull right there? We're gonna pull it and it's gonna light up. Can you see it lighting up? There you go, right here is a battery. Isn't that cool? All right. There we go. So it's all lit up. Hopefully you can see that. That's when it's not. Okay. And then we're going to put this pull right back in here so that we don't run down the battery. Just like that. Now I'm going to promise you, this is an easy, easy card to make. We are using the Light Your Way um, stamp set and, um, and die cuts. So here is the stamp set. I knew as soon as I saw the stamp set and and um, and dies that I, I had to get it. So here is the stamp set, and then here are the dies. It has this so adorable, um, let's see, uh, lantern, and then it's got um, lightning bugs. I, I don't know this this uh, set makes me think of my mom because she uh, grew up in Kansas and always used to tell me how they used to. Um, catch lightning bugs and, and put them in jars and, and everything. And I just thought that was the coolest thing. So lightning bugs really speak to me and my mom. Okay, for my mom. All right, um, let's see, let's get started. All right, here we go. So we're gonna start by kind of creating this. So here is, I've already die cut this. This is the lantern. Now it it is just like this, but we wanna put some vellum behind it. So I've got a piece of vellum here, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. There's not a, um, a die cut for that. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your um, lantern on some vellum. And I'm, you know, piecing because I don't like to waste anything. So this is what I've got. And by golly, I'm going to make this fit. And it just barely does. So I'm just going to take my pencil, and I'm going to... Um, kind of trace around just like this okay and I'm just going to stop there because I'm going to be cutting off now when you cut when you get your snips and cut you're going to make sure that you um oh gosh there's something on it oh, of course there's something on it oh I just ruined that piece nope I'm not going to use that I'm going to use another piece right here always have an extra all right let's try that again take two Boom, and boom. Now when you cut this out, you're gonna make sure that you cut inside the lines of your um, pencil because you need it actually a little bit smaller. So, cause you don't want it to show. So I'm gonna cut and you're gonna see that I'm cutting inside the line of my pencil, all right? And see how I've done that on the other ones that I have made because yes I have done this multiple times the first time I'll admit I did not put a strip behind the battery and it ran out so I went well we got to fix that right okay so now I've got this 
that we're gonna attach to the back. And you can kind of see where that's gonna fit right on here, okay? I'm gonna use some glue. I've got my mono adhesive for this. Um, and you just wanna, you know, do a little line around here just like that, okay? And I'm gonna add this on here, trying not to get Let's see, move over, I'm trying to get it like that. Okay, so that is on there. And if you have any that you see went out of the lines just a little bit, well, that's what your snips are for. And you can just do a little snip like that. Okay, now I'm gonna do my light, light, lightning bug. Some kind, some people call them fireflies. I think, I think it depends on what part of the country you're in. I've always called them lightning bugs, um, but that's what I did. Now, I wanted to tell you, I did cut this out of um, our bronze. So here is the gold um, pack of uh, cardstock you can get. This isn't the gold foil. It comes in three different um, colors. You get three pieces of it. You get this darker bronze, which is what I used, this kind of uh, gold, and then this kind of a light gold. And I use this all the time. Um, I have a ton of them because I absolutely love, um, I love this. Okay, so let's do this little guy. So I'm going to add a little here, and I think they've done this Amy proof because this fits right on here. Now this guy's going to go down, your, your um, wings are going to go down, and then you're going to add a little bit of glue again and then you're going to put your little firefly and i'm going to be honest I, it's supposed to go right there i'm going to pull it down just a hair because i want a little extra to kind of cover uh, my light okay so i'm going to cover that light so i'm going to put this over here to dry so um it'll be dry when we put it on the card all right now we're going to get some stamping done i'm using very vanilla today and um I felt like white was just too much. So I have a piece of very vanilla, which is five and a quarter by four, which is your normal um, kind of a mat for a card. And I'm gonna get my stamp set out. So here is my stamp set. I'm only using two colors today, Crushed Curry and Evening Evergreen. And if you have ever watched me before, you know that Evening Evergreen is my favorite color and I am going to cry when they um, when it's gone at the end of April oh I'm gonna this is gonna be hard for me I'm not gonna lie all right so I'm gonna make the grass with this piece right here and I don't actually want it to um, I don't want it to be the full strength of evening evergreen so I'm gonna do a, a tap tap method so I'm gonna stamp tap tap stamp. Does that make sense? So I'm going to get the ink. So I'm going to ink, tap, tap, stamp. And I'm probably going to have to say that in my head every time so that I don't do it wrong. So ink, tap, tap, stamp. And I'm kind of doing them different directions. Tap, stamp. And you kind of want them to be a little bit, um, you know, I don't know, uh, you know, grass doesn't all grow at the very same um, length. And so tap, tap, stamp. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna do that one there. And then I'm gonna do tap, tap there. And then let's see if there's any, I'm gonna get a little piece here. Oh, tap, tap, Amy, get that right. And then I want a little bit right there like that. Okay, it's a little darker, it's okay. So there's my my bottom, and I'm gonna use that in just a moment, so I'm not gonna close it. Let me wash this off, because I'm gonna need this block again in just a moment. So I'm gonna wash that off. Okay, because we're gonna do some embossing today, just a bit. Um, I'm gonna pull that off, and then I'm gonna be ready for this one. Okay, ooh, and that's a little bit dirty. Um, I'll do that in a minute. Okay, so this is another one, and I'm pretty sure it's not meant to be a sun, but today, 
it's a sun because that's what I want it to be. So, or a moon, or, or I guess it would be a moon. All right, it's a full moon today. So we're gonna tap. I'm, I don't want this quite as bright as this crushed curry is. So I'm gonna kind of do that. I'm gonna do, well, let's do that again. Let's see, okay. And then I'm gonna take it here. I went a little too low last time, so I'm gonna go a little higher this time. And so then I've got that. I just didn't want it, I didn't want it too, too bright. All right. Oh, wait, no, don't close that up, Amy. My original card didn't have this, and this is what it looked like. Oh, well, no, that's not what it looked like. No, I don't have one that is done. Never mind, I've done it to all of them because that one doesn't have the um, uh, thing on it anymore. All right, so I'm going to do a little bit of crushed curry, and you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I felt like it needed a little bit more, okay? So I'm going to tap, tap, tap. I really, oh, I kind of got that in green. Um, Amy, what were you thinking? All right. I don't want this to be very dark. You can't go lighter. You can only go darker. So I want this really light, and I just want the edge, and I'm going to kind of get that moon so it kind of feels like it's in the um, spotlight, kind of, okay? So I'm just going down the sides of this to just kind of... Oh, no, I just thought it needed it, so I did it. All right, so there is that. All right, so I've got my um, outside done. But now I need to do one more. I need to stamp the sentiment. And with that, I'm going, I, I, I love to emboss. I have always loved to emboss. Um, and... Stampin' Up! many years ago used to have two sets of stamp pads. They used to have a regular stamp pad and a craft stamp pad. And they were all in the same, all the colors, in which I'm pretty sure they were like, whoa, that's too much stuff. And that's probably why they stopped doing it. Um, but with this craft stamp pad, you could um, emboss with. And I love, and you could emboss with every color. So of course I had, you know, all of the colors. I had everything. And um, I, but they don't have that anymore. But there's a workaround. Now this has a little bit of uh, blue on there. So when I put a stamp on, I mean green, I'm gonna, uh, once I get it on to my block, I'll clean that off because I don't want anything on there for right now. When I have a word stamp or a thin stamp that is long, I put it on there, I just kind of drop it and then I put it on the block, okay? That ensures that it is um, straight, okay? But I did notice that there's a little bit of green and I don't want any green on my, um, on my stamp because we don't want to mess up my Versamark, okay? So now it's, all, now it's all clean, okay. I'm gonna use my embossing buddy because I know I've touched this quite a bit. So here's, Here's my trick. You're gonna stamp in the Versamark first. Must be first, second. If you do this first and then this second, you've just ruined your Versamark card and you certainly don't want to do that. Let's move that out of the way. Okay, all right. So we're gonna Versamark this and this will not hurt the green. Versamark will not hurt the stamp pad, so you're good to do that. So I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna stamp it down on here and hopefully I'm gonna get it straight. Okay, now, there we go. And I like this, I mean, it's it's fine. It's, you know, it is what it is. I mean, I like it. I just wanted it to be embossed. I love, I love an embossed look, okay? So now you have Versamark on here, okay? I did kind of get that a little dark, didn't I? Uh, you know what? No, I think it's fine. We're gonna be good. Okay, so I'm gonna take this and now I've got my clear embossing powder that I'm gonna put on here. If you haven't gotten this, oh, I can't recommend that enough. All right, so I'm gonna put it on here. I'm gonna use my little tray, okay, and then tap it off. Ah! Okay. Okay, I'm gonna close this up and I'm gonna move this to the back. I will clean that up later. 
All right, and then I'm gonna, well, I just took my thing, so I'm gonna put this here. Then I'm gonna get my embossing tool and I'm gonna put it on two and I'm gonna emboss it. And you can see, you'll be able to see in just a minute when it starts to work. Ah, there it goes. Do you see how it just shines up? Ugh, I, I love that shined up look. I really do. I just, I love it. I wanna make sure I've got all of it embossed. Yep, everything's shiny. Ugh, see, I just think that is, I don't know, I just think it really, I just love it. That's just me. I don't know. That's that's my thing. Okay. So here we've got this. I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm going to actually flip this over so you can, you're not distracted by all that. Okay. Now I'm going to uh, I'm going to put this on on the bronze paper that I've cut. This is three fourths of an inch by three and a quarter. This is a little less than one by three and a half. And I'm gonna tell you why I said a little less than one. I'm gonna use this stamp. And I have found, I'm gonna use this one, but I have found that yes, this is one, but if I do it a, just a hair less than one, it fits in that groove just a little bit better. So I'm gonna turn this over and I'm gonna put this in and I'm gonna stamp it. Or I'm gonna uh, punch it. So I've got that little punch right there. And I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna punch it. Okay. And then I'm gonna punch this side as well. Ah. All right, so you can see, I like this punch because it's really goof proof. I mean, I feel like you can't get it wrong. Sometimes the um, V one, I have to go, I'm like, oh, I didn't do that very good. But this one I think is pretty Amy proof. So there you go. All right. So then I'm gonna attach this to this. And I want to have this done now because I want to be able to see things on here for just a minute and in just a minute. Okay, so I'm going to bring all of this back because now it is time to make the circuit. And if you don't know, I'm a, a school librarian. And so uh, several years ago, I was at a conference and they made simple circuits. And I was like, oh, I want to do that with my kids. And I, I didn't, I, uh, I just hadn't got to that. So when I saw this set, I went, oh, this is the set to do that. And I just saw that I did this, this piece, I didn't get that taken out. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take it out right now. Look at that. Ta -da! All right. Um, so when I saw this set, I went, this has to light up. This, this set screams to light up because it's, a light and I thought oh I'm gonna do that so of course I had to go to my librarian friends and to say hey do you remember that conference we went to a couple years ago and does anybody remember what we did and and uh kind of got the supplies so um I bought extra supplies because I'm gonna do a card not this card because this is a little more um, advanced um, but I'm going to do this with my students I want them to get to do this so um this is definitely something I'm gonna do okay so here we go, here's what we've got. I'm gonna put this here and I want this here. Okay, I want him right there. And I'm gonna be, thanks for lighting your way here. So this is where I've got my stuff, okay? And the reason I'm doing that and laying that out is because I need to know where to put the lights. Okay, so I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna pull him up a bit and I'm gonna just do a little dot right there, okay? And then I want my light about here. So I'm gonna do that about there, okay? So that just gives me where my light is gonna push through, okay? So I'm gonna take um, my little cutting board that I've had in this craft room for probably, <coughs> excuse me, I don't know, 20 years. Um, it's a Pampered Chef one from at least 20 years ago probably closer to 25 and um, they don't make them anymore. So if you can just find something little or you can, don't cut on your table. I would if you weren't here, but don't do that. All right, so I'm just gonna cut a little X right here. Okay, make sure that goes through. I really need new blades. All right, so I'm gonna cut that and I'm gonna cut that. Okay, so there are my X's and that's where my, um, 
lights are gonna go, okay? So I'm just gonna kinda do that. Remember, this is gonna be covered, don't worry, it's okay. All right, now for the fun part. Let me show you what you're gonna need. You're gonna need one of these three volt batteries, and you can see that it has a plus sign right there. It's a lithium battery. Now, I'll admit, I bought this in a pack of 100 because I'm, again, I'm doing it with my students. So you aren't gonna need that, and I will put in the description um, a link to a smaller one because you don't want a large one. The next thing you're going to need is this um, copper foil tape for grounding, okay? So that is this, and this is just one fourth of an inch. All right, and then the next thing you need is lights. So here are, uh, here are my lights, and again, I got it for my students, so there's a lot of them. I mean, I'm sure they're gonna make a birthday card for a candle and they're gonna be, they'll use any color. So I, they, they have the white, but I'm gonna use the yellow because it goes with our stuff. So I'm gonna pull out two of these. Again, you can get these in smaller. You don't have to buy a jillion of them like I did. All right, so I want you to look at this right here. Hopefully you can see where there's a long side and a short side. Can you see that? Okay. So you want to know that a positive is long and negative is short. And, and here's how the brilliant mind of Amy works. It, it takes more pencil to make a cross than it does a minus. So that's how I know that the long side is positive. That doesn't have to, that doesn't have to be how you remember. That's how I remember. <laughs> okay. So I have found that if I, if I poke it through, like I have to really look at it. So I want my, my thing to go like this and I want, let me do this. Let me, let me do this first. Let me show you what I want. I want positive on this side and negative on this side, positive on this side and negative on this side. And that will make sense in a minute because there's a method to my madness. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna push it through again. All right, come on, go through. All right. If you, um, and this is what I have found, if you push it through, um, and I had to look at it at the back to know. All right, so I've got my positive on this side. I'm gonna bend that, and I've got my negative on this side, and I'm gonna bend that. And I've known that, see how that goes like that? So there you go. Now I'm gonna push this one through, okay? And I found that if I push it through the back that I get the positive and the negative right because I did that wrong one time. All right, so you can see that I've got my longer one positive here, negative here. We're gonna bend that here and we're gonna bend that here. I'm just gonna kind of give it a look and see. There we go, see how those are kind of like that. All right, and that is that is the first part of my circuit, okay? Now, I want to take my battery, which I have lost. Where's my battery? Oh, well, I had a battery a second ago. Let me get another one out because I don't know what happened to it. Um, luckily, I have a jillion or a hundred. <laughs> All right, so. Here's my battery. I've got my positive, negative, and I know I want it to go here. Like I want it to go about here. So I'm just gonna take my pencil and I'm gonna um, trace around it just so that I know, okay? Now, your negative pieces are going on the bottom, okay? Your positive pieces are going on the top, all right? So I'm just drawing little lines to show myself where I'm going to put my tape. Now, this tape can go this way, kind of like this, and I could probably get a straight shot with it because this will be on the top, so I'll, I'll be okay, all right? I just don't want these to cross, these to touch. Does that, I hope that makes sense. All right, so now I'm gonna take my copper tape and I'm just and the reason I don't pre-cut it is because I don't think I'm that smart. So um, I'm gonna put this here and I'm gonna look at it and I'm gonna eyeball it and then I'm gonna get my snips 
and snip it. It snips very easy. It's not hard to, it's not hard to cut at all. And then I'm going to take this one and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do another snip. I'm going to do one at a time because I'm not smart enough to do it any other way. All right. So what I have found is that I need something to help me get the tape off. And if you're, um, this is the hardest part, I think, because I can't always get the tape off. I always use this. All right. Come on, Amy, get it off. And if I had done it beforehand, you never know exactly where your lines are gonna be. Now, I'm not gonna rip this off because if I just take it off, it's gonna do a great big curl and then it's gonna curl onto itself and that's never a good thing. This needs to go underneath your, um, your piece, okay? It needs to go underneath the lead. Oh, look at me, I'm getting all sciency. All right, and you're gonna take this down like that, okay? There's one, and then I'm gonna go the next, this is the positive. So, I'm gonna stop here because this needs to go on the top of the battery, all right? So that'll that'll make sense in a minute, I think. Okay, so I'm gonna do this, and you're gonna, it's gonna look a little awkward, I probably, but that's okay. All right, so I'm gonna take this, and then I'm gonna pull, I hope you can see what I'm doing, and then I'm gonna pull, but I'm gonna stop it right there and I'm gonna snip that off, okay? Because I want it to be able to go onto the top of my battery, all right? And if I find that's not quite long enough, I can add a little bit more. All right, now, let's do the other, oh, let's do the negative of this. So I'm gonna do this to here, okay? All right. So again, it's gonna go down the bottom. It's gonna go underneath the lead, okay? Underneath the lead, and it's gonna pull down. I'm gonna pull down like this and go like that, okay. So I'm gonna do that. Now, I think this is, I think this is probably a hair longer than I need. So I'm going to clip it right like that because I don't think I need it any longer than that. But I might add this onto this to make this just a little bit longer. We'll see. Okay, like that. Oh, goodness, look at that. All right. Now we're going to do the second one. Okay. This is positive. It's going to go on top. So it, it's okay at this point if this crosses this once there's a battery there, it won't cross it. So we don't have to worry about that. All right, so I'm gonna cut it right there. I think I just cut my shirt. Okay. All right. I hope you like this card. I was so excited when I saw this set and saw what I wanted to do. All right, so I'm gonna take it again underneath like that. I'm gonna put it like, ah, like that. And I'm gonna do the same thing I did last time where I'm gonna stop. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna take it up and I'm gonna show you why. I don't want it to cross right there. I hope that makes sense. I don't want those to cross. So I'm gonna just pull this just a little bit over so that it goes to there, okay? And then I'm gonna take this like that and I'm gonna cut it because I don't want those to cross. And then I've got one more right here. I'm gonna have a straight, nice straight shot right like that, okay? And then I'm gonna move that out of the way and do this. Oh my gosh, there's the battery. Oh. Uh, I hope that wasn't sitting there the whole time. I, I really do. Ooh. 
I, I don't know where that came from. I, I am losing my mind. That's okay. That's okay. I'm good. I'm good. All right. I'm going to put this underneath. And don't worry, we're going to take these down in a little bit. So it's all good. So I'm going to put it like this. And again, I'm just bringing it down like this. And you can see where it would, it might um, curl. Okay. All right. So this is good. Now, I'm going to add, oopsie, pull that up. I'm going to put the battery down now. Okay. And I want to make sure, that, obviously, I want to make sure that the negative is down and the positive is on top. So we're gonna do that, and I'm just gonna use this copper tape right here to put that down. And then, hold on, let's, look. let's get this guy, all right. And this is going to, remember I added that little piece right there? Okay, I did add that little piece, and I think that is gonna be perfect. Okay, now we're gonna flip it over and see if it works. And it doesn't because I didn't tape these down. <laughs> Let's do that. Let's tape these down because they need to be attached to the copper, right? They need to be attached to the copper. You wanna give them a really good push up. Oh, you can see, there it is. There it is, right there, okay. And then we're gonna tape these down and immediately, <laughs> that did it right there. Yep, you don't need scotch tape. All right, so there you go. See my lights? I am so excited. Now, I did not let anything go right here. And here's why. Because, because there's that is, um, it, it takes a little bit of a push. If I send this card like this, then that battery is gonna run out, all right? So we need to have a way to turn this off, all right? So what I have is I have a little piece of, oh, that just wants to stay on. Um, I have a little piece of paper right here to put right here, okay? Ta-da! And that stops it, all right? So I have just put it in there, and, and this is just a quarter, uh, half an inch. I'm gonna use my green, uh, evergreen um, marker, and I'm gonna just write pull right here. Okay, and then I'm gonna snip it. All right, that does look like dull, so let me make that a P a little better. Let's do a, a real P. All right, so pull. So then when they pull it, then we can get that light on, okay? And I, I wanna go ahead and <clears throat> have that light off for right now, okay? So there we go. Now this card needs a little, little help. We gotta add a little more. So now we're gonna add our lantern on here. And I'm going to use my uh, tape, my uh, mono, or, uh, stamp and seal plus. I'm going to put it here and I'm going to put it here. Okay. You can use glue, but honestly, I did not like the glue with this project. And the reason was, was that I felt like I had to hold it down and wait. And that just seemed like a lot more than I wanted to do. All right. So I've got this little guy. I'm going to add some adhesive to him, let's see. Oh, a little bit extra there. Let's see if I can get this little wing. Ah, oh, there we go. Again, there's a little extra, you can just roll it over. Okay, and I'm gonna put him right like this so he's over that light, right? So then, when you do this, you've got it. Look how cute that is. That guy doesn't wanna stay unless I push him down, but that's okay. We are gonna, now we're gonna attach it to our, um, oh wait, no, one more. What about our saying? Our thanks for lighting the way, right? And I'm gonna use um, dimensionals to dimensional this. 
And I'm not sure this is a card you would want to send through the mail. You can, you absolutely can, but mm, I think this is one of those cards that you just hand to somebody and say, look what you've got, look what I made. And you kind of want to see their face when they pull it and, you know, see it lights up because that just kind of makes it right. Okay, thanks for lighting the way. I'm going to put that right there. Key's a little crooked. Let's see if we can, let's see if we can fix him. All right, yep, we can. All right, now I've got a piece of Evening Evergreen here, and I'm gonna just fold that, get my bone folder, and I need to attach this here, okay? I don't want to just attach it, okay? I do want to um, pull it up a little bit, and you can use you can use these dimensionals if you want. You absolutely can do this. But what I found was that if you use these foam adhesive strips, they are a bit wider. Okay, they are a bit wide, uh, thicker than your dimensionals. And you could always put two, but I felt like they were more in line with what um, the height of your battery. You want to keep this here because you don't want to put anything on that. So I'm going to just use some of these strips and I'm going to cut them and I'm going to put them around. Okay. I just felt like um, I liked the, the way that these were a little bit um, uh, taller. So, and if you don't, if you don't have them, that's fine. You don't have to, don't go, you know, I don't want to feel like you have to buy everything, right? If you, if you can't. If you don't, and if you, and if you don't have anything at all, then there's just a little bump there. It's not a big deal. Don't, don't stress and think you got to spend a fortune, right? Because, well, I don't have a fortune. You might, but I don't. So, um, there you go. Now, if you don't have a fortune and want to be able to get these products 20%, 20 or 25% off, then become a demonstrator. And you do not have to do YouTube videos if you just to, when, to become a dem, uh, if you are a demonstrator. You don't have to sell anything. If you want to be a demonstrator and just for the um, 20 uh, percent off, then that's what you do. And what that's what we call a hobby demonstrator. And I was a hobby demonstrator for a long time before I became before I started wanting to, to do the YouTube and the selling stuff, right? All right, so there's that. I do have one more that I'm going to put on the inside. Um, so as I was saying, do it for the discount. I mean, that's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest, that's why most people become demonstrators. They just wanna get their supplies at a discount, right? I do too. I love a good sale. So there you go. All right, so there's this, but you know what? I couldn't leave it at that. I've got two different kinds of dimensionals that I wanted to use. These green ones are going to go in the um, in the, the leaves. Okay, so we're going to put a little one. Uh, can you tell what my favorite color is? Hmm, maybe green. <laughs> All right, let's do that one there and that one there. So if you've ever thought about that or think, gosh, I would like to get that at a discount. I, there's so much I want. I want to do that. Um, there are minimums you have to make, uh, meet every quarter. And that is, um, you do have to meet a, a quarterly minimum. Uh, I'm going to put that right there. Of uh, $300, which is $100 a month of retail, not with your 20% off. So... To me, it was absolutely worth it. All right, so here's my card. We've got this. We've got the light up. Look, oh, I just think that is so, so cool. Oh, I hope you like this card. It just makes me so happy. Um, I'm gonna put my pull thing back in so that I don't run my battery down. Um, and there we go. There's our adorable little lighting the way card. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned something. 
Um, if you have any questions, please, 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 you know, contact me, um, you know, in the comments. Um, and if you could like and subscribe, I would greatly, greatly appreciate that. That really, really helps me out. So um, any of that that you can do, I would greatly appreciate it. I hope you have a fantastic week. This is Valentine's week. Um, you don't have to have a significant other to celebrate Valentine's Day. Tell somebody that you love that you love them this week. Have a fantastic week and do something creative. Bye.